Hey everybody, Pastor Andy Duffy here from Antioch Church of the Brethren. And I am upstairs in my house in the place that I most go to pray. This is, uh, this is kind of a extra room in our house right now. and I like to keep it dark, but I have these fun Christmassy, uh, you know, bright star lights that I hung around the room and they add a, a little more reflective feel. Um, I'm on a bed. It's just an extra bed and I, I can lay, I can sit. Um, but I try to be comfortable when I pray. I could even kneel on the side. Um, sometimes I turn on music when I pray. Just something soft. No words. Just something to keep me focused. I find that Depending on my mood, sometimes silence actually distracts me too much because I just wander. I want my mind is looking for something to occupy itself. But the music kind of gets me in that steady zone for receiving. And after I feel like I'm to that place, I can start being honest. Sometimes I even try to imagine that God as Jesus is in the room with me. And there's a chair like right there. So sometimes I imagine he's just right there with me and we're like having a conversation about stuff. And I try to be as honest as I can. But one of the things about prayer is I, I feel like we have such an incredible power when it comes to prayer. But we don't, none of us realize how powerful it can be because we don't understand it. And if we don't understand it, we're not really sure we can believe it, or sometimes we take it for granted, or we think there are these rules about it, like how we ought to pray, the language we should use. Maybe we're even scared of God. We have these messed up ideas about what God is really like, that he's, God's angry with us, or looking for something to be mad about, or, or God is mean to other people and we just can't trust them. I'm not sure about those things. That I don't think that's true at all. I think God is defined by self-giving love, defined by Jesus hanging on the cross. I think that's the way God always is. God is always suffering for us and with us. And I think that helps me to to see him as a friend. There's a passage in James that I often use, uh, as many brethren do, when we meet to pray with other people. And it's this, there's this one verse in it that, that says, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Powerful and effective. And it's in the context of people who are sick being made well. And certainly we get all these stories in the New Testament about people who are in terrible circumstances, really suffering and struggling, being delivered from that situation, seemingly by just calling on God for help or seeking God in some way. I've seen some pretty, what I would call miraculous things in my life and in my ministry, but not like the New Testament. And sometimes it bothers me. Sometimes I wonder why that is. I don't have all the answers. Remember I said we, we're not sure we believe things we don't understand? I think that's normal. And in some respects, that's the way it's supposed to be. Prayer is an act of faith. And faith is just trust. To step out and trust in something that we don't understand. We can't have evidence for but which nonetheless feels powerful and effective. And prayer changes me. Prayer changes my situation. Prayer gives me new perspective, and new perspective leads to new actions. Sometimes prayer opens me to what God is doing around me that I hadn't noticed, and once I notice, I can get on board. And sometimes I wonder if we actually do have power over spiritual things. 
What has prayer meant to you? I'm really curious. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear more about how you pray or where you go or when you go to pray in a particular way.